Plain Speaker Robin Mead. I'm out here this morning in our neighborhood, walking alley, and she's sniffing. See? And today is National Neighbor Day, um, and I just want to go ahead and talk about what it means to be a neighbor. And the text that I'm working from is Luke 10, uh, verses 29 through 37. And uh, there's this discussion going on about what needs to happen. And uh, the answer is, you know, love your neighbor as yourself. That's not the whole verse. Um, I think it's verse 20, 27. Um, but that's what the verse ends with. Love your neighbor as yourself. And, and then this guy says to Jesus... Well, who's my neighbor? That's a good question, right? Who is who is our neighbor? And so Jesus tells the story of a Samaritan. Um, and the, the story begins with this, this guy is traveling. It's not the Samaritan, but uh, this guy is traveling. And he is attacked by robbers while he's on the road. And he's left for dead. Beaten, beaten robbed, left for dead. And... Uh, someone walks by, a priest walks by, and decides he's too busy, busy to help this guy who's dying on the side of the road. And then uh, a Levite, um, who would have been, you know, one of the one of the priestly class to keep God's word, walks by, and he decides he's too busy to help this guy die on the side of the road. And then a Samaritan walks by, and so. To the Jews, Samaritans were really undesirable people. And why are they undesirable? Well, the Samaritans are half Jewish and half Assyrian. And uh, many of them would follow the Jewish customs, but they weren't Jews. So um, the Jews looked down on them. And so the Samaritan sees this Jewish man, you know, beat up in, a, in, in the ditch, left for dead, and he has compassion on him. And out of his own pocket, uh, he um, pays, for, pays for his care. He dresses his wounds. He, you know, they're out in the middle of nowhere on the road. And he puts him on his uh, donkey and takes him to the next town. Um, pays for his care. These are the things that, this is what it means to be a neighbor. And I was just really struck by that. I was thinking about that in in this time where we see so much division. You know, who is our neighbor, and what would what would God have us do to think about who our neighbor is and how to serve them? And so I would just challenge you today to think about who your neighbor is, not according to your definition, but according to the definition of the parable of the Good Samaritan. God bless you. Have a great day.